very good morning to all the participants from India and in and uh, abroad. Soviet Institute of Engineering and Technology Meerut, deemed to be university, and it's a center, center for agricultural informatics and e-governance research studies, and center for agribusiness and disaster management studies. He extend greetings to all the participants from India and abroad who are attending today the national webinar series on doubling farmers' income by 2022, Atma Nirbar Bharat in agriculture. Today is 4th March 2021. The web this webinar is on the topic empowering farmers through extension and knowledge dissemination, the role of mass media. On behalf of the Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, the faculty members of the university, and on my behalf, and as Professor Emeritus and Chairman of the Centers of Excellence, Center for Agricultural Informatics and E-Governance Research Studies, and Center for Agribusiness and Disaster Management Studies, welcome our today's guest speaker, Professor Dr. Sir Hari Om Srivastava. He is an architect of community radio in India, former additional director general, All India Radio and Doordarshan, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of India and New Delhi, and President and CEO, World Development Foundation, Delhi. We start on the topic, empowering farmers through extension and knowledge dissemination, the role of mass media. And uh, I am Dr. H. O. Srivastava, and these slides have been prepared by Aprajita Srivastava, who is the uh, Honorary Director of World Development Foundation. So let us go through these slides, and uh, we will be discussing at the end if there are any questions. We all are talking of doubling the farmer's income, and as mm -hmm. Professor Muni told in great detail, the steps that has been taken in the last five years for doing it. When we talk about doubling the farmer's income, one thing which is very important to remember is that the productivity of our farmers in India is just 2% as compared to a farmer in USA. 2%. One farmer is productive, which is equivalent to 50 farmers in this country. Why? This is due to lack of education, skill, knowledge, and capacity. What are what the steps? How can we do it? Traditional agriculture that we have been following from ages, it shifted to precision agriculture. And then we are talking of knowledge agriculture which is a trademark of World Development Foundation. When we talk about the traditional agriculture, what it was? This is something, looks what we are doing in India and uh, many countries. We visited Ethiopia, Nepal, and some of the other countries in Africa. So this is a type of farming that we are doing it. You can find here, here you can see is putting the pesticide all through. Here he is doing the education, just putting water into the uh, farm. And what happens is, along with the, the pesticide that you put, when you put the water or when there is a rain, the entire pesticide is going to the earth. It is coming back, it is getting circulated. We are spoiling the entire environment and the climate. And we are adversely affecting the health of our people, our cows, our buffaloes, and all the things. And the result is, even if the farmer's income doubles, if we are not able to preserve the climate, then ultimately, you may earn from somewhere and spend somewhere else. So this is the traditional farming. But we have to go ahead of the traditional farming, and we have to attain what is known as knowledge agriculture 
this is the knowledge and culture something that will look like that if you say it the knowledge and culture is something which is being used in some of the countries and this is how their productivity has increased so many times of our productivity and what they are doing is they are using certain electrodes which are taking the uh, data from soil and plant they are using the satellite communication system and they are also using robotics they are using iot they are using uav is the same thing uh, drones uh, for uh, spreading the pesticides and then there is a agri bot uh, laser system based uh, positioning system and then this is another research that we have done and i am trying to put the philosophy that we can have the cloud and if we provide the cloud based system then it is a part of broadcasting we can cover a very large area a number of software has been done the data is being gathered on soil on seeds and fertilizer and weather and there are so many agriculture software that professor moni was talking like smart zone forming weather modeling fertilizer modeling smart micro irrigation etc etc now here what is happening is that we are preserving our climate we are maintaining sustaining the climate and if you want to irrigate all the plant doesn't need the water then why we are wasting the water on all the plants we can selectively use the drone system or we can use some system robotic system to water that plant which needs it similarly the fertilizer and the chemical and the pesticide can be used on only those plants which we need it here what we are doing is we are putting on all whether it needs or it doesn't need for and then most important is we are wasting our climate second thing is we are also if we are not going to the knowledge agriculture then we are bound to the climate and we are bound to the rain god if rain comes okay if it doesn't come it's gone so there will be either flood or there will be drought or something like that can we control it yes there is there is some way to do it and what fujitsu is doing in finland finland is having very harsh weather it's very cold and they are not able to get certain leaf based vegetables in harsh weather during winter therefore they thought can something something be done to get it produced here itself in the winter and fujitsu which is a japanese company they have created entire artificial light plant factory and they have projected their income in billions in next two years so if we really want to make the agriculture helpful then we have to increase the yield we have to increase the yield there is no other way we have to increase the yield and we have to make it sustainable if yield goes up then every farmer will become rich so this is the methodology this is the way that we have to follow not only for doubling the income why not traveling and four times or 550 times it will happen but how will it happen when we are talking of all these high technologies how the farmer and just professor mori told 82% of farmers in india are have the poor and marginal farmers how are they going to understand what we are talking we are talking we are all experts and talking in our language and and then we can understand each other but does the person who really needs it does he understand and how he will understand it so there is a need 
there is a there is a long way to do it we have to increase their knowledge they must learn what we are talking and how can they adopt the newer technologies and it has to be assisted by icr and culture ministry and the government and then only the farmers income will really really increase Thank you.